Amazing Grace Step-by-Step -step Harmonic Tutorial 5. In this step, we are going to turn up the soul knob even more by adding in some modal interchange and other harmonic goodies. But wait, what is modal interchange? One, modal interchange is a quick harmonic switch outside the key of the piece. Two, the duration is short of this harmonic sidestep, not really long enough to be called a modulation. Three, the modal interchange chord or chords come from a parallel tonality. You can hear it and feel it and know when it has occurred. So here's the chord chart with the modal interchange highlighted. The first instance is in bar 8 with the E flat minor 7. Let's listen from the top to get an idea how this modal interchange sounds and feels. How sweet. Did you hear or feel that? So this E flat minor 7 is not in the key of B flat major, but it is found in the B flat natural minor scale. It is called 4 minor. Here are these two scales side by side, B flat major and B flat natural minor, with the diatonic chords of each scale written in. You can see that the parallel tonality in this case, B flat natural minor, yields quite different chords from B flat major. So we can borrow chords from this scale if the melody and our taste permits. Let's listen from bar 5 now with Philip Yeboah singing and hear how he reacts in such an inspired way to the harmony. That's it. OK, the next instance of modal interchange is in the penultimate bar. G flat major 7 to A flat add 9. Let's listen to this from bar 13. Powerful sounds, would you agree? These chords have been used in many soul and pop songs. You probably have heard the sound before. This is a very emotional cadence to my sensibilities. Notice the B-flat melody works with each chord. On the G-flat major 7, it is the 3rd. And on the A-flat add 9, it is the ninth, And then on the B-flat, it is the root. The next big harmonic change to highlight in this version is bar 10, the E7 flat 5. This is the tritone substitute for B flat 7, and both chords contain the same third and flattened sevenths. The third of B flat 7 is D natural, and it becomes the flat 7 of E7. And the third of E7, G sharp, becomes the flat 7 of B flat 7. A flat. Let's listen to this from bar nine. I once was lost, but now. This is a common jazzy harmonic device which sounds super cool when used in soul music. See lovers do their thing. Flattened fifth B flat has been added because it sounds more in keeping with the tonality of the piece B flat major. Notice there is a C in the melody as well. If we were improvising on this chord at this moment, we could choose a whole tone scale. There are two other smaller but important harmonic changes to highlight in this version 5 of Amazing Grace. One is in bar 5, 
More harmonic movement and colour has been produced by adding in a G minor major 7 chord between the G minor and the C7. This again is a common jazz device. It has to be used with taste as it does not always fit the style and of course it has to work with a melody. The last colour to look at is the F13 flat 9 chord. The flat 9 is G flat, the 13 is D. This chord essentially now is a D triad over an F dominant 7th chord, an upper structure triad an emotional dominant 7th chord that Stevie Wonder is fond of. If you benefited from this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can support the creation of further Jazz Duets presentations over on Patreon. Let's finish now by listening to the full vocal version. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Amazing.